Hi, my name is Joel Matthew. You are seeing CS177, and today I'm going to be explaining my sixth experiment from uh, Compiler Lab. So, uh, the experiment is to create a single pass assembler. So, an assembler is actually a program that uh, accepts assembly code as input and then uh, produces the equivalent machine code or the object code. Uh, so, this is my question over here to create a single pass assembler for SIC and uh, this will be my input text and this will be my object uh, op table for uh, getting the uh, required object code so I'll show you my program now So this is my code for assembly uh, assembler. So initially we are taking input from the input file and then storing it uh, in the form of an array in, uh, using input and then same for op tab. And then we have various arrays for storing the labels, the op codes and uh, the values. Now initially I am uh, taking from the uh, op table uh, text we I'm going to be taking all uh, differentiating the op code and its equivalent uh, machine uh, machine language code so that's done over here then uh, to get the starting address I'm going to be searching for start so uh, we'll search for start and then uh, we are going to uh, if if there's a start statement that uh, address is going to be changed into hexadecimal and stored in x if not uh, the value of x will be taken as 0 and uh, the address will be accordingly uh, adjusted for each uh, code and uh, this these are for uh, characterizing the uh, uh, the assembly code into uh, the op code and the label and the value so if we have a 3 address uh, instruction then it will be <coughs> first one will be the label then opcode and value if you have a two address instruction then we have uh, the label will not be there and then we have the opcode and value and then uh, if it's a single instruction a single address instruction like end then we will have only opcode and then over here we are going to be uh, converting the opcode into the equivalent object code so uh, we are going to be comparing it with the op tab uh, values uh, the input values we are going to be checking with the op tab values and the equivalent object code will be generated here and then uh, afterwards we are going to calculate the length of the whole program that's done over here and uh, in the end we are going to be uh, displaying it in the form of uh, object object file so we are going to have head head text and uh, end file uh, end line so i will show you the input file so this is our input file we have separated using space and uh, this is our op tab again and then i will show you the output So as you can see over here, we have the head, so head and then we have the name of the program which is copy and then uh, the starting address and then the length of the program. Then we have the text and the starting address of that text. Uh, then we have the length of this uh, whole text line and then we have, uh, so the first two letters are actually the uh, opcode uh, uh, op code value and then the next is the address of that instruction and uh, then we have the end and the first ins uh, first executable uh, instructions address thank you for listening to me